Okay guys, I just finished a missile command board from this particular customer. And I've got another one, I've got two. They sent me two missile command boards. And this one looks, looks better than the other one. There's no mess up here. It actually has a crystal. It's got old sockets. Um, it's kind of got a mix of ROMs and it's got a, an EEPROM here, an EEPROM here, and then it's got ROMs here. So I don't know what's going on there, but we'll find out. Um, the back of it looks really clean. This is a nice board. It's nicer. This is a nicer board than the other one. So, without further ado, let's plug this thing in and see what it does right off the bat. See if we get anything. See what we're working with from the beginning. So let's do that. I'm going to hook it up and power it on. Okay, we are hooked up and we are powered on. You can see the 5-volt LED is lit. And we get nothing. Nothing going on. And I do have it on my Nintendo monitor now. So, yeah. Okay, we get nothing. So, I need to turn this thing on and go through, to go through some preliminary checks with the scope. So let me do that. Turn that thing on. We're going to check our clocks. We're going to check the control circuit, uh, the control lines on the CPU. That's where to start. Actually, where I need to start is I need to check these. Uh, I need to check power. So let's put that to power. Grab my leads. Go to ground. Five volts. And we got 497, which is good. And we've got probably 11 point something, that's good. And four point something, five point something. Okay, voltages are all good. Why don't we try test? See if we get anything. Well, how about that? It says bad ROM. Bad ROM 2. See that? Bad ROM 2. I wonder which one. That is. That's pretty cool. So we're actually doing pretty good here. This is going to be an easy one. Bad ROM 2. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if this is 035. 03582. Yeah, that is Missile Command. It might be this guy. I don't even know what this is. <clears throat> Bad ROM 2. So what I want to do is look at the manual and find out what that means. Bad ROM 2. I, my guess is it's this that would be my guess so let me do that let me break the manual out and find out what that thing's telling me and I tell you what right now too I think the colors wrong I think I got a bad color ram but we'll be able to that should be white and it I don't know if you can tell it's kind of green it should be white so I think it should be white so the color RAM might be bad, which is this guy right here, I think, which is no big deal. But let me look at the manual, bad ROM 2, find out what that means. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> okay, I think this is when it gives you bad ROM. This is going to be one. This is going to be two, three, four, five, and six. I think I found the problem. This was in here like this. And it's got a broken leg. So I think I need a new ROM. What do you think? You think that's going to work like that? I mean, whoever put this in was close. They almost got it in right. I mean, for crying out loud. Okay. Oh, that's trash. It's got a busted leg. So I'm going to put a... I'm going to get a new ROM and put it in there. Alright guys, I got a new ROM burnt and put in. And I fired it up. And there it is. Colors are correct. Missile command. Boy, that might be one of the easiest repairs I've ever had. Let's uh let's put it into test. Let's see what it tells me. Okay, it's still green. Something is not right on here. It's not acting as if it should. Let's uh, take it out. I'm going to go ahead and coin it up. Okay, ground, coin right. Okay. It's working. It's You got the missiles coming down. You can hear it. It looks right. Let's go back to test. That just doesn't sound right. I want to... I want to do switch test. Colors are changing as they should. Everything seems to be working. Huh. Strange that it's not...
some sounds are missing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reseat this guy. Because it's supposed to go do, do, and then end the test. And why is it green? Uh, something. You know what? I wonder if that's that monitor. Let me, uh, I'm going to hook back up to the other monitor and see if it comes up white and test. My colors might just be off. Let me check that out. Yeah, I switched monitors and it is white on this monitor and it's like a, a greenish on, on the Nintendo monitor. So that's a color issue. I just need to adjust colors on this guy. That's pure white on this G07, so. Yep, okay. I am still curious as to why this does it's not doing the sound the way I'm expecting it. It's supposed to go do do. I mean, it's coming up. It's it's passing everything. I'm gonna reseat the pokey. Okay, I reset the pokey and no change. So. But the game's running, the sound is working. So other than a little maintenance, I'm going to call this one good. I am not going to bore you with the details. I'm going to replace these sockets. I'm going to replace all of the sockets. And I'm going to wash the board, clean it up. There's only a little bit of crust on this board. It's really not bad at all. But I'll, I'll replace the power capacitors anyway. Yeah. Easy one. Hey, you need an easy one now and again. So, just maintenance. It was a ROM. That was all that was wrong with it. So, I'll go ahead and clean it up, replace the sockets, and call it good. See you on the next one, guys. Nice, easy repair this time. Hey, you got to have those now and again. Thanks a lot. Not so fast. I forgot to test the trackball. And I test the trackball and it don't work. It goes left and it goes right. It does not go up and down. Left and right is fine, no up and down. So, no up and down. So I will, uh, I'll have to fix that. So let me look into that. So what I'm going to do now on this board is, uh, I, I put window, I put window covers on here. I'm going to sockets, do all the sockets. Maybe that's why this thing doesn't go do do and test like I'm expecting it to. Maybe there's funkiness in the trackball circuitry that causes that. We'll find out. We will find out once I fix it. So. Yeah. Let's remove this. I want to check something out. That is up here. And both of these chips have been replaced. Those are the MC4584, I believe, something like that, uh, chips. I don't know if they've been replaced or reflowed. I think they've been replaced. No, they don't look like they've been replaced. I think they've just been reflowed solder. There's some funkiness right there. I'm going to have to take a closer look at this. Is This is a MUX that looks like it's... Something's been done to this. I'm going to have to take a closer look at what's going on up here. Should be an easy fix. Yeah. Yeah, something's been something's been done to that 157. There's that 14 
584. That has not been replaced. It was just refloated on the bottom. And here's the other one. Hmm. We'll take a look at it. We'll take a look and find out what's going on. Okay, I'm working on the track ball circuitry, and I'll kind of show you where I've gone. The vertical direction is the one that's not working. So what I did was I started up here, and I looked at this flip-flop. I'm kind of looking at what is common, what is not common. And uh, this flip-flop is common between the two, between vertical and horizontal. So I kind of am not suspecting the flip-flop. Um, even though I probe right here on pin two and probe on pin three, and when I move it vertically, they should both, they should both pulse. And they don't, uh, the clock was not pulsing. The data was, but the clock was not. So I came back to the MUX and I moved, when I moved the trackball, I probed all the outputs and of course seven wasn't doing anything. You know, that, that's the clock for right here, pin seven, the output on seven. So I probed the inputs, which are five and six and five and six and, and the select, select is always selecting zero. So five should go through the mux when you move the trackball to seven. But when I moved the trackball, there was never no activity off of here because there was never no act, no, never any activity on five. So I suspected this guy to be bad. So I probed on pin five, moved the trackball, and got nothing. And of course I got nothing on pin six. So where I'm at right now is I went ahead and I cut this chip C9. It's a 14584. I just cut that right off the board. And now when I probe one out to two and five out to six, I get activity and I'll show you. Here's that chip that I just, I just removed it right here. So let me move the track ball over here. I'm gonna to try to do this one handed, which is gonna to be tough. So here's pin one. And if you, pin one. I'm moving the trackball, you can hear it moving. Pin two, well, there's not an output, there's no chip. But if I go to pin five, one, two, three, four, five, and move it, see? I, I got activity. So what was going on was this chip was just holding it low. There was, it was just holding it low right here. So I'm gonna have to replace this chip right here. And that's the problem. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll try it out. Okay, I have the new 14584 in the board right here and you can see let's try to do this again what was it pin one out to two yeah this is going to be tough you see it moving okay there's the output. Okay, there's the output. 
And then this is the one that was dead, five out to six. And you see now it moves, and this is the output. Okay, so now we have a good chip in there. And more importantly, up, down works now, and left and right. And I adjusted these colors so that it's white now instead of that off green. So yeah, that was it. Just one bad chip right here. So now I will call it good. So we're working 100% now. And there it is. And the sound works. Little coin. And start. You can hear the sounds. And move the trackball up, down, left. Right. And that's it. That is it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next. I think I'm going to start the Warlords boards next. See you then.